Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. A little girl is killed in what appears to be another case of adults leaving children at home with an unsecured gun. Detroit police trying to get answers to a number of questions, including why that girl and her 10 year old little brother were not at home. Their we're mother arrived at the home shortly after the shooting. This happened in the 8800 block of Hayden Street near Joy Road, and that's where we find Megan Woods live. Megan, the police chief has been on the scene talking about what happened, but I know you're also uh, talking with the folks who live there in the neighborhood. That's right. When we talk to neighbors, they're frustrated, just like police, because we keep hearing this story that children are getting a hold of unsecured guns. And then we talk to neighbors who are really hurt right now because they did all that they could to try and save that eight year old's life. Now, uh, police, they're still trying to figure out specifics like how long were they home alone? Why were those children not at school? If that 10 year old boy accidentally shot his younger sister or did that eight year old accidentally shoot herself? She was shot twice, once in the shoulder shoulder and once in the neck. The mother got back shortly after that and neighbors were able to put her in their car and drive her to the fire station a quarter mile away. And from there, EMS took that little girl to the hospital and an eight year old killed is a painful reality for neighbors who try to help and for police who are trying to make sense of it all. She was a great kid. She was double promoted. And she tried her best to keep breathing. We tried to help her but it, um, it didn't work out. I just hate that because it's a tragic scene. We got child abuse on the scene, uh, and they're going to look at the parental responsibility and, and all those things that I've said a zillion times, but what does that do to bring the 8-year-old back? Nothing, nothing. And then we, you know, we, this needs to be the last one. Yeah, the chief says someone has to be held accountable in all of this. He also reminds gun owners, if you have a gun, you have to be responsible, secure that, especially around children. And we're still working to get answers to so many of those questions we all still have. Live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. So frustrating that it just keeps happening. All right, Megan.